I'm Jared Hatfield, and welcome to the Getting Organized series of tablet tips. In this five-part series, I'm going to discuss ways that you can get better organized for college. This first edition is dedicating to organizing that paper trail that you can never get away from in life. Now, in a lot of your classes, you're going to have homework and quizzes and tests and handouts and all kinds of paperwork that you just cannot get away from. You'll be drowning in paperwork, even if you're using your tablet to take all your notes and everything. It's really convenient to just say, okay, get ready for class. What do I need? I need my tablet. Grab your tablet. Off to class. You know you have absolutely everything. The first way to help you diminish that paper trail is to get a scanner. Now, my strategy in scanner shopping was go into Staples, buy the cheapest scanner on the shelf. You can search around. You can find a used one. You can use your friend's scanner. You can just do whatever you want. Just scanning in documents is really convenient. Make sure your scanner is Vista compatible if you're using Vista. I had my old scanner. had to replace it when I moved to Vista. It was ancient. Now, all of those paperwork, all that paperwork that you have from classes and you scanned it in, you don't need to scan in quizzes and tests. It's mostly those handouts, those calculus objective sheets, those things that teachers didn't post on Blackboard. Maybe they didn't post their syllabus. It's good to have that in electronic form. Now, you have to organize that paper trail somewhere. Here's how I do it. I buy every semester one of these accordion folders. Just the normal old accordion binder. I put a tab for every class. Now, some classes warrant multiple tabs. The best example here is calculus. I have a tab for calculus homework, calculus ob objectives, calculus tests. And when I was in classes that had cal calculus quizzes, I had one for quizzes. Even other classes warranted multiple tabs. If there's a lot of material, maybe it deserves more than one tab. But generally, a class requires one tab. I can, I can put in the assignment. I just put the assignment in here, and I know where it's at. I have it organized. The other thing to use, since you're scanning a lot of your documents, scan them before you put them in here. And then you know where they're at. In this case, this binder actually has a little front compartment, and I have documents that haven't been categorized yet. So I just finished a calculus test. I can put it in here. It was right before spring break. I got it back. I did, was too lazy to file it. I can file these later. That's a little lazy organization way. But using one of these binders is very convenient. Once the semester is over with, you can stick this on a shelf, throw this in a box, do whatever you want with it, but you know the entire semester is in one place, organized and together. That convenience in the future when randomly you needed something from that class where you're like, oh, we got a handout on that. Oh, we had, I need my old test. You know where it's at. Semester, class, handout, paperwork, test, quiz, whatever. You have it. It's very organized. Now, using a tablet, there you can organize your paperwork a little easier than not. You have a little bit less paperwork. You're not generating a lot of paperwork yourself. And keeping it organized is a great way to help improve your efficiency and even get better grades. Thanks for watching this edition of Getting Organized Tablet Tips. There will be four more episodes to come. Enjoy the series. Thanks for watching. As always, you can contact us at our website, speedstug.com, or our email address, stug at speedstug.com.